Here's a look at the Koan V5's UI. Now I want to boot this from a cold start to show you the startup time on it. What's really kind of interesting to me is Cohen's used Windows embedded CE 6.0 for this device and you can even see that as it boots up. It's kind of in the background there. Um, now this makes it interesting because you have even all right, if you go into utilities, you can actually jump into Windows CE and you have a full start menu, uh, documents, programs, favorites, um, and what Cohen's doing here is basically just putting a launcher on top. Um, and you can see. Um, so when it boots, it boots into the Cohen launcher and this is Oops, this is it here. So that's the Koan launcher. Um, and you have basically media, utilities, calculator, recorder, unit converter, windows, that's what I just pressed there, world clock, and then windows explorer. Um, so this is kind of just the, the shell of the um, file folder browsing really. Um, Crazy, you even have these X's. It's very, very Windows like. Um, office, you have photos and documents, notepad, browser, games. Uh, they even managed to squeeze in free cell and full blown Windows Solitaire on this. So it's kind of cool actually. But I think one of the cooler parts to having um, Windows CE on this is it's totally and completely hackable so you know in theory you could really just hack your own UI onto this and say forget the Koan launcher you're basically dealing with a mini miniature computer here um, device settings control panel um, this is kinda crazy lots of control panel and you got your Windows control panel So, media playback is, it's kind of just, you have all these cute icons and here and there, but it's still a very, um, what do you want to say, it's not a very finger friendly UI. It works, and it will work, but you'll suffer from a lot of mispresses, so that's kind of why I'm using the um, stylus here that's connected onto the player. Um, this works a little bit better than your finger. So, um, but that does mean that this is a um, resistive screen instead of capacitive. So, here's your basic music layout. Um, file folder, no ID3 that I've found yet. Um, I'll dive more into that later. Um, you got a little... It's a very uh, straightforward utilitarian UI that I think will appeal to um, a certain group of people. Um, so I won't call this bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a very different interface than a typical um, finger friendly UI. Um, One of the one of the neat things here is with Flash, they actually give you. I didn't load any kind of Flash on here yet. They actually give you controls here, so you can basically you can load some games up on here and have your different buttons and whatnot if you want to. Um, we're gonna have a keyboard here, full blown Windows CE there. Um, So it's a pretty robust environment there for running Flash. Um, like I showed in the other video here is um, here's the video UI. Here is a 720p version of um, WMV file. 
Let me just click on there. Great looking screen. Looks fantastic. Um, not too different from the O2, but the O2 had a great screen to begin with, so um, not much of an improvement, but no improvement was really needed. So overall, the UI is pretty interesting. Um, it's different from what I've seen. Um, but like I said before, the interesting part is going to be to see um, people hacking some some UIs or even some um, new utilities onto this player since we have a full-blown um, Windows CE OS here. And I'm not too familiar with embedded OSs, so... Um, so we're going to have to look to the community for some hacking and exploitation of this device. Um, but there you have it. Uh, that's the Co1 V5.